In this video, we will be studying about the agricultural marketing. See, uh, once the farmer has harvested crop, they need to assemble their produce on the farm. After that, what they need to do, they need to upgrade their produce. Like in case of they need to pack their group, uh, goods, then they need to store up their crops. So finally, this bought up. Uh, so finally they can go to the market for the sale right as you harvest the crop right you have the you have cut down the wheat crop and then what you do you put on some more techniques to take out the wheat seeds from the that uh, crop right after that you do the packaging of that wheat after that you store the wheat and then you sell the wheat in the market so agriculture market marketing is it include all these processes processes between harvesting and final sale of the produce by the farmers right so your agriculture marketing may be defined as a process that includes Number one is gathering the produce after harvesting. You will gather the produce. And then processing the produce. which means the separating the straw from the grains you have the grains then you are separating the straw third grading the produce according to its quality Which means that we have rice that are rupees 20 kg, then we have rice which are 40 rupees kg, then 60 rupees kg, then 100 rupees kg. Like the premium rice are let's say 200 rupees kg. So these are the various qualities of rice that are being produced. So what you do, you grade your produce according to its quality after that. Fourth is packaging the produce. Then you pack your produce. Fifth is storing the produce for the future sale. And sixth is here selling the produce. When the price is lucrative, means the price is according to the wish of the farmer. So these are the marketing activities which are included. So this is actually, these all activities form up your agriculture marketing. The next topic is your distress sale. See, distress sale means the farmer sell their product in a stress. Forcefully, they have to sell their product. See, if before, at the time of independence, the farmers used to take loan from the money lender traders and commission agents. So, they play the monopoly in the agricultural marketing. Now, in order to pay off their debts, the farmer had to make a distress sale for their produce, right? Farmers... They used to take loan from money lenders 
or traders or any of the non institutional sources then in order to pay their debts they were forced into the distress sale of their produce right as they have to repay their loans as they have to repay their uh, you know debt so they have to sell their produce their holding capacity was almost zero having taken loans from the money lender who happened to be traders and commission agents the farmers were obliged to sell see after paying the loans what happened the farmers were forced to sell their produce to these money lenders and traders which used to buy their crop at a very low price low price selling of produce by the farmers so they were into the distress sale because they used to take loan from them and after taking loan major part of their crop used to go into their debts to pay off their debts rest the other part used to remain so there was no market there uh, where they could go and sell their product so they used to sell the products to these money lenders only at a very low price so this was actually the distress sale now this third concept which is its buffer stock now see the government purchased the uh, harvest or the produce from the farmers at the minimum support price after that they keep these produce as a buffer stock so what is buffer stock these stock are used for public distribution system and for meeting urgent need during periods of low output so from the produce the government keep some of the stock as a buffer stock so they could meet their requirements whenever there is high demand or low output or scarcity the fourth concept is your pds that is public distribution system under this the food grains are distributed distributed through fair price shops at a very subsidized rate or at a very low rate to the backward section or the below poverty people or to the poorer section of the society so they could easily at least have an access to these grains so this is all about the four concepts i hope you like our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us